Hello, hello everyone. Texcoin with you one more time. Yes. And I've been I've been trying to share this with you guys, but I've been busy uh, with other stuff out here and well I have a busy life. I have to work and then I come and <clears throat> check coins and I have a little bit of a lot going on. Not a little bit, a little bit of a lot going on. But I enjoy what I do and I enjoy checking my coins. And I enjoy sharing them with you. What we're going to talk about is going to be the ninth. No, I'm sorry, the 2023 P Philadelphia Mint Kanakaole U.S. Quarter, 25 cents. <clears throat> now, just a little history on um, this lady. Well, until. Next year, 2025, we're gonna have this um, this program that um, that's why we we see this women pop up on our quarters. It's um, an American um, women quarter program. That's why we see this women that are minted on our U.S. quarters, and this program is to recognize this. Um, women that have achieved a positive impact on our U.S. of A. That's why we have this um, really nice looking quarters with this wonderful women that have achieved and uh, made a big impact on our U.S. of A. Now this lady, Kanaka Ole, Hawaiian, if y'all didn't know, she's a Hawaiian woman. Um, she was also known as Auntie Edith or Edith. Okay, just a view. If, if y'all didn't know, her nickname was Auntie Edith. Who was a master at hula. She was a hula instructor, composer, and an academic researcher. She was a custodian of Hawaiian culture traditions, and the land. And her work helped preserve Hawaiian history, culture, and traditions. That's right. This lady was achieved. That's what she was recognized by the U.S. Mint. And I'm sure that all Hawaii uh, and all the Hawaiians are very, very proud of her. But that just a little history on um, on this quarter on Auntie Edith. It's a beautiful looking quarter. And I'm going to show you what I found on this. I found several discrepancies, uh, die chips, but this quarter is very special to me because it looks like if she's crying. Yes, I found some other quarters and I looked them up and stuff and it's got some die chip on the on the reverse side besides her left nostril which is very common on it but the feeder i would say that um ejects the quarters from from the minting process um i guess it's got some claws or hooks we because there's a lot of coins that you have this markings on it like claw markings on it and it actually went on the right perfect place which is on her left on oh, no correction i uh right eye it looks like two tears are actually coming out of her uh, onto her cheek but i'll show you but first of all i'm going to show you the quarter which is uh 2023 2023 philadelphia mint normal mint quarter Normal mint, as you can see, the P right here, that is your mint mark. That's the obverse side of the quarter, the front portion of the quarter. This is the way it's supposed to look. Now, on the reverse side, this is what you're supposed to have on the reverse. This is the beautiful mint. Of this wonderful image. 
and you can see her name right there. Edith Kanakaole. Beautiful Hawaiian art right here. And this is Auntie Edith. Now, this is your normal mint, okay? Of this great, great image here. Now, the die chip that I found on this quarter is going to be right here, right on the edge of the nostril here. But then you have uh, markings here on this side of the of the cheek where it looks like if she's crying. And of course, I would be crying too if, if I was minted on a quarter. I would be full of joy and happiness because the United States recognized me for achieving something. This wonderful Hawaiian lady deserves this. Well, okay. Let me show you. The air on this quarter. First, as you can see, you see the tip of the, the nose in George Washington. Right here. My assumption to this would be that there was a dye chip that was supposed to have gotten stuck or did get stuck on the die and actually left an imprint. Let me see if I can zoom in. It left an imprint right there on the nose. As you can see it right there. Okay, that's that right there. Nothing major. But also a good mint error that we can classify it as for purposes of this video. It's a discrepancy on this quarter, which is not supposed to be there, but it's nice. This is your upverse. Now let's go to the interesting part of the quarter, which will be your reverse. You see that right there? Can you make it out? There's a little chip right here, and then you have these markings here that appear to be like, it look like tears. But let me zoom in. See a little die chip there on the edge of the nose. Right here. I've seen some online and stuff, and they sell for about $30. But the interesting part of this, and it really caught my eye, it's these two little marks right here. So when you see it, they look like teardrops. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little more. See them right there? It looks like two teardrops right there. Let me see if I can rotate it so y'all can get a better angle. But those are like markings that I guess, I don't know what they use at the mint that um, has two little claws or something, I guess, to eject the, uh, the coins. But that was um, something interesting that caught my eye and it looks like two tears right there running from her eye onto her cheek. And it looks really nice. It looks really nice, as you can see it right there. 
and you can also see the, the dye chip right there on her nostril. Isn't that, I mean, that to me, that looks, that looks really beautiful. Kanakaole. Auntie Edith. I thought I would share this with you guys so you can go ahead and, <clears throat> and see little things that you can look for that could be worth, you know, more than a quarter. That's for darn sure. But hope you like it. Hope you find this interesting. And don't forget to share and like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And send me a, a, a comment. And whenever I get to your comments, I'll go ahead and reply. I have several that I need to reply to. But I do want to thank all of you guys for continuing to view my videos. And um, keeping up with the coin hunt. You all stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.